Hi Aries, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your spiritual guidance for life, purpose, career, and money reading for April 2020 or whenever you happen to be watching or listening to this recording. You're my last one, Aries. I've lost my light, but I brought over a lamp. <laughs> okay, so just to remind you, Aries, that all of my YouTube videos are available in audio format, so you can listen to them as well as watch them here on YouTube. And I do already have up the general spiritual guidance recordings, so you can listen to those as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So one card today, Aries, from the Money and the Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. One card from the Life Purpose Tech by Doreen Virtue. Three cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And one card from the Money Tarot by Eugene Vinitsky as we take a peek at your money. And then one card from the Tarot of the New Vision as we take a peek at what's going on behind the scenes during this time frame, Aries. Hope everyone's doing well. Okay, Aries. Here we go. Ah, uh, someone else got this. A few different people have got this. What if everything was always working out for me? And my life is as good as I allow it to be. Somebody else also got that. I do not remember who. <laughs> well, I love this one. What if everything was always working out for me? I, I love that so much. You know, what if every single thing, what if we all had the mindset that every single thing that occurred was exactly as it was meant to be and always working out for me, always for my best and highest good and for the best and highest good of all involved. That is an amazing way <laughs> to be, right? Because no matter what occurs, you know that it's always working out. Suddenly, all the fears and anxieties and judgments and, and guilts and shames and all of that just kind of disappear and feelings of, of victimhood and all of that. What if everything was always working out for me? Let's get some additional cards, but I, I really, really love that. Okay. So this is from the Life Purpose deck. Looking at Life Purpose and Career. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sense of purpose in the world, career, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, beautiful fire sign. Okay, here we go, Aries. Heart's desires. Beautiful. An artist. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. Taurus just had this in the primary position. But your primary position here, the card, is Heart's Desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. What if everything was always working out? What if your heart's desires were always being um, filled? My life is as good as I allow it to be. I mean, it sounds good, right? But getting there, getting into that energy can be difficult. You've heard me say it before, the ego, the mind, is not to be taken lightly. Those patterns are deeply ingrained. Patterns of fear, anxiety, worry. So it's important to recognize where they come up. It's, you know, it's hard to, to get into the energy of everything always working out for me when you're feeling trapped in a situation, when you're feeling worried about a situation. But what you know to be true, Aries, that when you are able to get into a place that feels more peaceful, where you feel a bit more reflective, you know that everything is working out. You've seen it over and over again in your life. Things that in the moment seem dire, but later, with some perspective, with some time perhaps, you see, oh, I see. 
It had to happen in that way in order for this to happen. Your heart's desires are coming true. The angels are supporting you, guiding and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. It's just a matter of having a little bit of faith, recognizing that there's a reason it's taking the time, as we perceive it, um, to occur. And what can perhaps help you feel a bit more connected and peaceful is through channeling some of your artistic sensibilities in whatever that means to you. Now, it may not be that you actually engage in art. It may be that you just listen to music more, or you look at beautiful paintings, or you look at beautiful images, you know? It's gonna be different for everybody, of course, but I would say, because some of you are probably like, I never do art, right? <laughs> right away, <laughs> negate. <laughs> um, but, it doesn't mean you have to be good at it either. Just engage in the play of that. Sing badly if you want in the shower. Engage in the play as I feel it for you, Aries. It's more about the playfulness. It's more about the being messy, not doing everything perfectly, not having to have an agenda, not having to be the best at anything, just doing for the sheer joy of, of doing, of being, of doing it, <laughs> right? Being messy with chalk, paint, sculpt or clay, Play-Doh, singing, dancing, whatever. Engage. It helps to distract you from the mind's agendas, right? Um, I'm not getting what I want, right? It's not happening fast enough. Never enough for the ego, never fast enough for the ego. It may be helpful for you too, to, um, if you can, get, you know, walk along a body of water here. some additional cards for you, Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's really where you draw your attention. Really where you place your awareness that allows you to have a better experience. What is working out? Well, I'm breathing. <laughs> That's a start. Okay, great. You know? Feels good to know I'm alive. I can connect to the breath. Light. I have electricity. Yeah. I love that. What's work? What else is working out for me? You know, you can even go through the what feels like baby steps. That feels remedial, even. But remember that the energy in any moment is the same as any energy in any other moment. So the energy that you are expending, or the energy that, the vibration that you are uh, existing in, when you are washing the dishes, or at a big meeting, or it's the same to the universal oneness. Every moment is the same. It's the same. It doesn't, one is not better than the other. What if everything was always working out for me? My life is as good as I allow it to be in the moment. When you can, as often as you can. Not always easy, I understand. You know, and I will say that as I feel my way sort of into this card, things have not yet manifested because you're still working out <laughs> what your heart's true desires are outside of what the ego's agendas are. So as you release attachment to the agendas, your heart's desires are able to be connected to and sensed more within you. It's kind of like you have to peel away 
you know, like kind of like peeling an onion or as I feel it for you, it's more like you're kind of getting, pushing things out of the way, you know, so you can get to the core. And so that may be why it feels like it hasn't yet manifested the things that you're truly, truly wanting. But remember, you're working on, um, let's put it this way. You're working on settling in to what is now so that when your heart's true desires are manifested, you're not approaching them from the egoic energy of, yeah, but they're still not enough. You're more able to say yes. It's perfect. I need nothing more for longer periods of time. You've already had experiences of this, but they're, they tend to be relatively short-lived. You know. So what you're working on is drawing out those moments so that the moment extends through time and space. <laughs> Okay, so we have perspective, the hanged man in reverse. We have the seven of Ariel in reverse. And we have the four of Michael in reverse. And then we have the five of Gabriel in reverse. So I do see with the five of Gabriel in reverse under the deck, it does look like there has been uh, kind of a, a period of like slowing down, right, naturally. Um, in, in the recent past or maybe throughout this time period, less competition, less around your, your sense of purpose in the world, right, and, and your career. Less people reaching out to you, it may even feel like a, a, a slower time period, right? It makes sense, right? Um, okay, so we have the perspective card, hanged man in reverse. In the, these tell a story, but I've laid them out as past, present, future, but really they kind of tell a story throughout the month here. Um, and so with the hanged man in reverse and the seven of Ariel, <laughs> uh, you know, you may feel a sense of frustration, like, like someone or or even you has sort of come off the fence with the hangman in reverse, right? You know, the perspective, changing your perspective, but uh, maybe not in the way that you had hoped. <laughs> and then you try to rush things, right, with the seven of Ariel. So there may be this kind of feeling like like things are being rushed to a, to a, a conclusion or things aren't being given their proper time or things you're waiting for came through and not in the way that you had hoped. Because when, when I see the hang in reverse, a lot of times for me it shows that maybe there's a, an argument you know, with someone um, or that someone is not being very compromising. <laughs> you know, Because here, when the hangman is in the, the perspective card, you know, you're gaining perspective. The text of this card is, there's a better way, pause for reflection, insight, dare to be different. But then when it's in the reverse, it's like, maybe someone's not daring to be different. Maybe someone's not gaining the perspective, you know? that you would hope that they would get. They have a perspective, but it may not necessarily be in alignment <laughs> with your perspective. Um, and then we have the seven of Ariel, which is, um, as I feel it sometimes, it's um, trying to rush things a little bit before they're fully ready, right? Um, and then we have the four of Michael, the same kind of energy, the four of swords in reverse, trying to rush things. You really would benefit so strongly, Aries, during this particular time frame, to allow things to just kind of be. What if everything was always working out for me without me having to manage it or force it or fix it, right? Uh, you're such a beautiful, um, you know, first sign of the zodiac, going forward, you know, making things happen. But this time frame, you're being asked to slow it down, right? Maybe things haven't been happening the way that you wanted them to, so now you're trying to make it happen. Your heart's desires, the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. In the right time, from the universal oneness perspective. <laughs> so do your best. I know it's not easy. 
And you may feel even that you have to. It may even feel like, you know, I, ha I can't. I have to do these things. These things are presenting themselves. I have to get them going. I, I can't rest. I have a lot going on. And that's fine too. But just draw your awareness to it with a, a more gentle gaze. You know, I'm so busy and it's, I'm trying to make everything happen. I'm trying to keep everything going. And you say yes, you know, and you just take a moment to be nurturing towards yourself and say, I understand, you know, speaking to your inner child, <laughs> speaking to yourself. Or just even if the words feel awkward or silly, you can just put your hand to your heart just to acknowledge how hard you're working and how nurturing you're being to yourself in that moment with a hand to the heart. It's like a way of saying to yourself, I love you. I value you. I care for you. I'm here for you. But there is quite an emphasis here for you, Aries, on things being rushed. Because we have this under the deck, like maybe things slowed down or there was less competition. Or maybe the competition fell away and you're the one that was chosen, right, to do something. And then there's like this rush, right? This feeling of I can't, you know, I have to make things happen very quickly. Whatever is going on for you. Interesting. The text of the Seven of Ariel on this deck, which is the Seven of Pentacles. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. But here it is in the reverse. Not wanting to wait. <laughs> Not feeling like you have time to wait. Then we have the four of Michael also in reverse. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Again in the reverse, we have this kind of busy feeling. Do your best, Aries. To take a moment. Whenever you are going to help another or do another a task for someone else, take a moment, just a second, to check in with self and say, I love you. I'm here for you. I prioritize you. Just a second, Aries. It takes a second to, pri to prioritize yourself. You don't have to take out five minutes. You just take a second. And the hand of the heart feels awkward. Just fingertip to fingertip, right? Some kind of connection to your to your physicality to remind yourself I'm here for you. I take care of you first. It's a simple, quick step to help shift a pattern of energy out towards others. Always feeling a need, maybe not always, but often feeling a need to be the one to take care of it. If it really needs to be taken care of, it will come back up again. <laughs> Most of the time, things just fall away <laughs> if you ignore them. <laughs> emails and things like that. A lot of times people send you an email at work before they've really thought it through. And if you just delay responding, they figure it out on their, on their own. <laughs> you know this already, but. All right, let's take a look at your money and then I'm gonna close out your reading, Aries. And also engaging in artistic activities. Very soothing for your soul. Allowing the play, <laughs> you know, like a child. You can get down low on the floor, you know, sit with legs splayed out like a kid, you know, and just be a child for a little bit, as often as you can. So looking at the money for Aries. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I am giving a spiritual perspective on money during this time period. The Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. I encourage you to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising recordings um, to get greater clarity. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ace of Swords under the deck again. <laughs> That taking charge, right? Fixing things under the deck. 
Um, being the one to take charge. I feel like you need to protect things, protect your what you have, protect your assets, taking charge. New beginning, new ideas around money, how you handle money, what you do with your money. But we do have a kind of a, a dissonance here with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so if you're if you are married or working with others, um, it may be that there's this you're just not really on the same page around where the money should go right now. That's okay, you know. It's but it's important to have the conversations, you know. Um, you may even feel like if you even if you're not with someone, um, you're used to you know getting your money by working and, and being with others. And here we have it in reverse. So you're not you're not really doing it in the way that you normally do in a group setting, getting the getting that that same income from what you normally do because not everyone's on the same page or even in the same building, <laughs> right? So it's okay. Um, it's not terrible. It's just everyone you know just who, how and who is handling the money and. And the way that you earn money is is kind of um, off a little bit this month. But you have some new ideas about it. Right? Really nice. Okay. That's all I want to say about that. Let's go ahead and look um, behind the scenes. Then I'm going to close out your reading, Aries. I would really encourage you to, as, to rest as often as you can. Any impulse you have to jump in and be the first one to say, yes, I'll do that, or to, to help someone, take a second. You know, to connect to you. I take care of you first. I prioritize you. Whatever words resonate. Um, or even just delay responding to people by a few minutes, by five minutes, by a day. If it's not urgent, give yourself time to just be with the uncomfortableness of not responding right away so you can begin to shift the pattern. It will feel uncomfortable to take your time <laughs> or to not respond or to say no. <laughs> but without that feeling of uncomfortableness, it makes it difficult to, sh to change your pattern because you have to kind of be in that uncomfortable place. Anytime you change a pattern, it is uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay, so what's going on behind the scenes for Aries? <laughs> the hangman <laughs> and the king of wands. Like this is you. I feel like you're wanting to take control really badly. <laughs> We're back in there. It doesn't have to be you. It could be another fire sign, uh, Leo Sagittarius or someone like yourself or someone who just has um, that fire in their belly, you know. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Okay, so, but the primary card around your money is the hanged man. Again, we have the hanged man here, but in reverse. Um, this is, again, it's like, you know, there's this feeling. <laughs> Things haven't manifest yet, right? Your heart's desires and she's on the beach going, where the hell is it all? <laughs> I see nothing in front of me but ocean and sand, right? They're, they're, they are in process of manifesting. The mind, the ego will say it's taking too long. But it has to take the time it takes in order for enlightenment, in order for understanding, integration. This is what's going on behind the scenes for you, Aries. And it feels uncomfortable. Look, everyone's, you know, the crowd, <laughs> the villagers are up in arms. Do something, right? <laughs> And the hanged man's like, I'm chill. I'm waiting for the right time. When I feel inspired, when I feel enlightened, I will take action. I will come off this post. That's you. Taking your sweet time. Things taking their sweet time. Even, as I said, when people are saying, come on, make a decision, do this, do that. And you're like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then you, just, you make a move or you make a, respond with a phone call or a text when you're ready. Not out of 
the knee-jerk reaction of I need to. People want things from me, and I need to. I need to help people and take care of people, and you know, it's shifting a pattern here. A beautiful opportunity to shift some patternings that are ingrained. We all have them, right? But it's stressful to live in that in that pattern over and over again to, to continue to display it. It's draining to the adrenals. You begin to rely on the cortisol levels to rise in order to take action. But you're wanting to center in here, Aries. So your heart's desires have room to be felt by you. Going back to the start of the reading, right? Not the agendas, but the ego. Finding, you know, peeling back the layers so your heart can say, yes, here I am. And part of the way that you can do that is through your artistic, playful pursuits. I hope that you find that helpful, Aries. I'm going to close out your reading. I wish you much love as always. I do have some meditation recordings up uh, here on YouTube and SoundCloud, and they are available for download for free on SoundCloud. If you um, would like to listen to those, they may help you feel a bit more relaxed, more peaceful. <laughs> but there, are, even if you don't listen to mine, there are many others available um, for free on YouTube. So, all right, much love to you all.